In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some high flyers get their big table performance under control. Will their performance be cleared for landing? Stay tuned to find out. FlightMite provides monitoring systems for hobby, commercial, and experimental aircrafts. Uh, during a flight, their systems collect hundreds of thousands of data samples, all of which get pushed directly into Bigtable, letting their development teams view historical and real-time data about how their systems are performing. Sadly, though, as planes moved around, the performance of pushing all the sample data into the cloud would decrease, causing problems for the devices. The issue here is that Bigtable, in order to be as performance as possible, is local to a specific specific region. As such, accessing Bigtable from clients around the world is quickly at the mercy of latency, which is why we recommend that any client accessing Bigtable be not only in the same region, but specifically in the same zone. To show this off, we spun up a Bigtable load test tool, which allowed a client in US Central 1C to connect to Bigtable clusters in different zones to see the performance. Now, don't get me wrong, these numbers are extremely impressive on their own, but we can see how the latency of distance can quickly cause overhead for each client push to add up. Now, let's be clear, this is not a challenge unique to Bigtable. Across all of your cloud applications, as the distance between your client and server connection point increase, so does the latency of the transaction. Now, the out-of-the-box solution to this is typically simple, which is uh, just spin up more clusters in more geographic locations. But for a global company like FlightMite, that ends up being a lot of clusters around the world, and the costs of that get quickly prohibitive. After looking at a number of options, uh, which we describe in more detail in the article linked in the description of the video, we decided to go with a serverless solution. Now, firstly, their clients push data into PubSub, which allows their connections to hit the closest Google Cloud front end as possible. Then they have a Google Cloud function in the same zone as the Bigtable incidents, which are triggered by the PubSub events and handle pushing data right into Bigtable. With this setup, they can have a plethora of distributed agents submitting constant data to Bigtable and not have to have the issue of connection latency. If you're interested to know more, check out the article linked in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Cloud channel for more great Cloud Performance Atlas content. Because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.